Well, Bafana Bafana come back to their home turf tomorrow morning. And as usual, we want to know what you have to say on social media. So I'm going to take a look at what you've been saying on Twitter. War for Greatness mixtape says, Hashtag Aziwege, the Bafana Bafana team is always building towards something. When are we ever going to finish building tired coaches and their building? Uh, Clifford Mokome says, Bafana Bafana, sometimes we must get hurt so we can grow and sometimes we must lose in order to gain. Absolutely agree with that one. As uh, someone has said that we cannot buy experience. Jacob Paradise says, yeah, Shakes and Bafana should be given a chance. Nkosana Similani says at SCBC News Online at Sports Live, which fortunes losing two games and drawing one knockout in group stage? We have achieved that before. Henry Dube says at SABC News Online, Phil and other legends said the same thing when Iggerson was still at the helm. Well, that is what you were saying on social media. Mixed reviews there from our viewers. Now, as usual, when a big sporting event is on, we here at Sports Live are open an expert to help dissect matters on the field. Tonight is no, is no different as we bring a former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder, Abel Shongwe. Good evening, Abel. Thank you for making time to be with us tonight. Good evening to you, Paul. Bafana's final <coughs> game last night, obviously not the desired result. They're coming back home tomorrow morning. What happened? No, to be honest, uh, I think uh, our boys, uh, to me, I would say they've done us proud. Fine, I mean, it was not easy for them. Well, all the teams that were there in AFCON were prepared. I mean, uh, I would say we've messed it out, out, I mean, out on the f first game where we were playing Algeria. We had so many opportunities there to convert, chances to convert, but... Uh, our guys, I would say, they forgot their boots at home. That's the game that we're supposed to win. That's the game also that was, it was supposed to give us the direction. Well, I like what you're saying um, in terms of saying that our guys did play really well because they were tactically strong. But however, when it comes to finishes, their finishes were never polished enough. And it seems like our defence was always unstable. Going forward, what can uh, Coach Sheikhs Mashaba improve on in those uh, areas? Well, we have given our coach a chance. I mean, uh, it has to go to all South Africans. Uh, to make it a point that uh, they give sh shakes our coach full support. I mean, uh, well, they said he must build a team. I mean, uh, you have done it. Our guys honestly didn't do bad. Fine, I mean, we've played the friendliest game whereby we're lo winning them. Now, AFCON, first game, we lost, and the game was supposed to win it. Uh, second game, I think we drew, yes, and the last game we lost it again, but uh, I would say Sheikhs has got a team and this team he has to build it, carry on with it. We still got a chance, they must give him a chance as a coach, not this thing of bringing a coach, tomorrow we lose a game, the coach is fired. They must give Sheikhs a chance to build this boys. Absolutely. That's what someone uh, who tweeted us <coughs> earlier said that, you know, Bafana Bafana seems to be always building and building and building. So I guess we all do have to give uh, Coach Mashaba a, a chance to prove himself. Now, let's quickly go back uh, to the team's performance. It seems like in the first half, we are fire. We go forward. Obviously, our finishes are not that strong. But also in the second half, I don't know if it, it becomes heavy legs. Was it inexperience or was it just tired bodies that uh, sort of lose concentration and are unable to finish the games as strong as what they started? Well, I would say, you know, our boys, every time, their first half, first 45 minutes, they will give us the best out of them. Come second half, uh, last 20, 15, I mean, last 20, 15, 20 minutes, then it's like now our boys again, they are having heavy legs and uh, we find that we consider easy goals and uh, we're not going forward as we'll be doing in the first, first, first 45. So I think uh, sh our coach shakes, he must just work on that building our players for 90 minutes, not building our players for 75 minutes, then you find that 
at the end we consider an easy goal. This is what been happening and I thought maybe our game, the last game that we've played since we had a goal up or one goal up, I mean I didn't I, I was not thinking probably Ghana I mean will come back, equalize, then ending up winning the game. But I think I would say it's a learning curve for our boys. Sheikhs was giving all the players a chance to prove themselves so that come next time you will be having a squad that you'll be knowing that they will hang on for 90 minutes and ending up winning the game at the end. Abel, I just want to get your opinion on the goalkeepers. Three goalkeepers were rotated. Coach, was that a good decision or did that also lead us maybe let us down um, somewhat and maybe, you know, um, take away from the confidence of, um, of our goalkeepers? As coaches, you know, they're always having their own philosophy, you know. Uh, what's happening here? I thought Sheikh, since the first game, fine, our goalkeeper kid, he have made mistake. I thought maybe you'll give him a second nod in the second game, play him again. Well, uh, I don't know. Well, he wanted to give everyone a chance, but for me, I wouldn't change goalkeepers now and again. Now and again. I thought maybe you'll give him a second chance to prove himself. Then, maybe last game, he can put another one. I didn't see the why actually he was changing the all goalkeepers giving me giving them a chance i thought maybe as i'm saying earlier as i've said earlier on two games will be giving to the first keeper then maybe the last game it will depend whether we carry on till to the end or maybe come to the knockout stages then you can take a chance gamble coaches they do gamble give another goalkeeper a chance because all of them they deserve a chance to play but for this one i thought maybe Kate is going to get two games, then maybe try the, the next keeper to the third game. And then, Abel, we had a great uh, qualifying campaign. What happens now as we go forward? Hey, that's a tough one to say, but uh, I would say as time goes on, we'll see what's taking place. In that point okay yeah and then the last one looking at uh, the group d matches i mean all of these teams went into tonight's games one all they're all on the same level playing fields the group is wide open give me your predictions which two teams are going to make it to the final round of eight well it's a bit difficult i mean all the teams have got one point but people have been hearing views from people saying probably ivory coast they will want to lose this game because they are, I mean, Chel I mean, uh, uh, Man City, they are waking, waiting for their players in terms of uh, uh, their good player, Yaya Torre. They are waiting for him, so they will just let this go game go. But for me, I don't see any, what you call, a chance to any team. I think all these teams, they will f be fighting today to say we want to qualify for the knockout stages. I don't see any player that will be saying I'm pulling back because I want to join my team. We're talking of you are playing for your country. Eh? So they have to fight with their boots on in today's game. End of the day, we want to see the winner. Thank you so much, Evo Shongwe, for your time. I'm sure we'll be speaking to you again very soon right here on Sports Live.